if you're somewhat new to programming, um, it, everything kind of works in steps. And I, I mean, I know that's kind of obvious. And you probably hear, you're, if you're here right now watching this tutorial series, you know how, uh, you know, you, you know the basics of programming at least. And um, so every time we hit the space bar, and we're going to call this shoot function uh, in, in our key update for the space bar, um, when the b bullet delay resets back to zero, spawn the bullet, put it in front of the spaceship, make it visible, and add it to the list if there isn't already 20 on the screen, and then we're going to reset that delay again, okay? So um, another method. So after we, we set the starting position for the bullet and spawn it on the screen in front of the ship, we need to update where that bullet goes after that. So um, update bullets. So it's going to be a public void, and we're going to call it update bullets. Okay. And then we'll comment the stuff in here too. So um, for each bullet in our bullet list, update the movement and if it's and if the bullet hits the top of the screen remove it from the list which removing it from the list will make it disappear so essentially um, destroy it okay um, so the code is for each and basically I'm trying to um, type out the comments um, the way you would type it in. So like for each bullet in our bullet list. So for each bullet, we'll call it B in bullet list, we want the following to happen. Okay, we want the, the B dot position dot Y. So the bullet position dot Y to equal bullet dot position dot Y minus bullet dot speed. Okay, and this is just how we updated um, a normal update. So basically, it's taking the bullet position, the Y position, which is up and down, and it's um, subtracting it by its speed. So it'll be going, shooting up towards the top of the screen. And this is the same way we did our update functions um, for like our, our spaceship and everything like that. Um, just setting, setting uh, the movement for the bullet, okay? And if B dot... And you know what? I'm going to save that part when we get into the collision so we can skip that for now. So we're going to say if b.position.y is less than or equal to zero, then b.isVisible equals false. So what this is saying is now we have movement on the bullet, right? And it's moving up towards the top of the screen. If that bullet position on the y-axis hits zero, which is the top of the screen, we're going to make it, the visibility of it false. So, we're, so it's going to essentially um, um, make it invisible, right? And, we'll, and you'll see how that works in a second here. Okay. Um, okay, so we're going to make a for statement here, just a, a basic for statement, which is uh, all you guys should know about um, if you've learned any kind of programming. So for... Um, int i equals zero if i is less than the bullet list dot count then i plus plus what we want to do in here is if bullet list i pass i in there is visible and I'll tell you what this does in a second. Then bullet list dot remove at I. And then we're gonna say I negative. Okay. So what this is doing, uh, we'll comment this out here. So this is updating our this function is for just strictly updating the bullets after after we shoot them, okay? So for every bullet in the bullet list, um, if it's out on the screen, um, we're going to update its its position, which is going to be shooting towards the top of the screen. If it hits the top of the screen, and we'll comment this, set movement for bullet, 
if the bullet hits the top of the screen, then make visible false. Okay? And then down here, what it's saying is we're just going to iterate through our bullet list. Basically, we're going to go through our bullet list. And, um, and if the bullets, if any of those bullets in there are not visible, we're going to remove it from the list, and then we're going to go to the next one, okay? So, um, and what this is doing is if it hits the top of the screen, it's right here, it's turning that visibility to false. So if it's false, then it's going to remove that from the list, okay? So, um, iterate through bullet list and see if any of the bullets are not visible. If they aren't, then remove that bullet from our bullet list. Okay, and I know these are long comments, but I want you guys to understand this. And feel free to put any comments or questions you have in the in the uh, comment section uh, after I post, post this video. And I, I'm sure there's going to be quite a few uh, because lists do get a little complicated, like I said, if you're new to them. All right. So that's it for our update bullets function. So kind of put this all together. Um, we need to go up to our ship update, into our update function, right, where we're setting our con ship controls here. Um, and uh, find here. So okay, we're going to set another uh, key here. Let's fire bullets, and we're going to say if key state that is key down. And it's going to be keys dot space. Then all we're going to do in there is call our shoot function. Okay? And then directly below that, we're going to call our update bullets function. All right? So when we're holding down the space key, it's going to call our shoot function which is down here. It's going to take our check our bullet delay and if it's at zero it's going to create a new bullet, put it in front of the spaceship and make it visible and add it to the list, right? And then um and then after that, it's going to make sure that all the bullets that are on the screen are updated. So it's going to give them movement. Uh if they hit the top of the screen, it's going to make them invisible. If they're invisible, then they're going to remove them from the list. Okay? I know this is a lot to take in. And uh, when I was putting it together, I'm like, man, this is going to be uh, a pretty big jump up from what we've been doing in the tutorials. Uh, so as, as far as I know, that is all we need to do to make our bullets work. Okay, so let's save this off. Build solution. It did succeed. Surprisingly, I had no errors in all of that. And then we will run it, okay? Let's see if we get anything here. Okay, so we have our ship moving. If we hold down the space bar, there we go. And what's happening is we're shooting the bullets at the delay that we set. Uh, I don't know on my screen. I don't know if it'll look like this for you, but on my screen it looks like two bullets are almost coming out at the same time. But I'm pretty sure it's just the lag. So this is our delay, right? We don't have any collision set up yet. Um, but this is our delay uh, at 20. So just as a test, let me do something quick. That's just me holding down the space bar. Um, let's set our bullet delay to something like five. So that's there's only f five. Um, it's there's less time between each bullet being shot out of the out of the ship, okay? So this should increase our our fire our fire rate. Let's hold down space now. Okay, and it won't. And you know why that is? Is because when you change the variable here, it's going to start at bullet delay of five. But what you need to do is go down, and you see how we're resetting. If it hits zero, we're resetting our bullet delay to twenty. We need to also change that to five, so that it doesn't keep going back up to twenty. So now we'll save, build, and run. Now we should have a faster fire rate. And there you go. And it's only going to let you have 20 bullets on the screen at a time, but it looks like they're getting destroyed before um, they all get out anyways because they're hitting the top of the screen. They're getting destroyed. Okay? But that's it. I mean, this is long. I've been recording for a while now. I'm probably going to break this into a couple videos. Uh, if you guys have any questions at all, uh, feel free to ask or message me or put something in the comments. Um, if any of this is confusing or if you just want me to elaborate on any part of this, um, let me know, okay? But uh, I hope you guys liked the video. 
if you did, toss me a like. If you want to see the rest of the series, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, after I get these videos up for shooting, um, I haven't really decided on what the next part is going to be. It's probably going to be the enemy class. Or I'll, I'll make a quick video on adding collision to all these so that we can get um, the bullets destroying that one asteroid we have on the screen. And we'll have uh, the asteroid uh, destroyed when it hits the player ship too. Uh, so there's actually a lot of different ways I could go with the next video, maybe adding uh, player health. Uh, we'll figure something out. So um, um, until next time, guys, uh, like I said, any questions, leave them in the comments. But uh, anyways, peace.